Gospel of June the 22nd, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors, who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, of course, we are celebrating the most holy blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is chapter 6 of the Gospel of John. And it is almost by the end of that chapter. The beginning starts with the multiplication of the bread. When Jesus, feeling com compassion, deep compassion for the people, for the f more than 5,000 persons that were there, that they were starting to feel very bad because they were very hungry, he felt compassion and he multiplied a few breads a couple of fishes that were, that were brought to him. So all the people seeing the miracle, they were very happy. They wanted to proclaim him king. It is a very convenient king because he would, he would feed you and you didn't have to work. So it was excellent. They follow him. And when they reach him again the next day, he tells them, you are, you are looking for me because you ate of the breads. Do not work for the breads that will disappear. Work for the bread of life. And there starts an argument, a long argument. Some of them tells, tell him, What sign are you going to make? Because Moses gave us the bread of angels. And now the Lord is answering, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. That immediately caused a quarrel among the Jews. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And again, Jesus again says, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. It was totally against the law, the Mosaic law, to kill someone. But it was certainly far beyond pro prohibition, provision, prohibition that it was absolutely forbidden that you could drink any blood from any animal, let alone a man. And here is this new teacher telling them that unless they drank his blood, they could not have lived, they could not have life in, them, in themselves. What follows from this gospel is that almost all of them leave him. And I would like to point out this, because faith is far more than reason. You can, by your reason, think about it and come to a certain point. Just imagine that someone is telling you this. If you do not eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will do not have life in you. Immediately, one would start thinking, what place of your, of your body do you want me to eat? Your hand? Your leg? Am I going to kill you so that I can drink your blood? And that is the requirement of faith. There is a very tender scene, almost at the end of this one when one, once everyone is gone, the Lord turns to his disciples, to his apostles, and asks, him, asks them, 
do you also want to leave? And Peter, Simon Peter, answers in the name of all of them, Lord, and where are we going? To whom are we going to go? We know that you're the only one that have words of life. It is as if Peter would say along with you and me, God, I don't understand I don't understand you. As much as I can, as much as I try to figure out what you're saying, I cannot comprehend it. But yet I have faith. I am sure that if you want, you will find a way of that for that to happen. It confronted them. It made the break point, the turning point for everyone who really believed in the Son of Man and everyone who did not. The great majority went away. The Lord somewhere, somewhere else says, No one can come to me unless my Father allows him first. It is by the light of the Holy Spirit in our soul, in our conscience, given beforehand by the Father, that we can dare to have faith in Jesus. And what is he saying? My flesh is true blood. My, uh, I'm sorry, my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. And if we remain in the Lord, not only do we remain in the Lord, but we remain in His love, and we remain also in the Father's love. So we become true temples of God. The Last Supper, after he had celebrated the legal Passover, Passover, he instituted the Eucharist. He took a bread and blessed his Father in heaven and broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body that is given on your behalf. And again, taking the cup of wine, he says, Take and drink all of the, all of you of this, because this is my this is the cup of my blood. Blood of the new covenant, of the new and eternal covenant, that is going to be spilt for you and many. For the for the pardon, the forgiveness of the sins. Do this in my memory. That is when he resolved that mystery how he was going to feed us his flesh and blood and it is true his flesh is true food and his blood is true drink and it has that those effects that god himself has told us if you eat his flesh and drink his blood you will have life eternal that is the greatest of all gifts but it has cost his life his blood on the cross. Remember that every time that you go to the Eucharist and have Holy Communion. Today is Sunday and it's such a Holy Sunday that it would be so great if you go to the Eucharist and have Holy Communion. If you go, those of you that will go, I beg you humbly to also pray for me. I will pray for you. God bless you all brothers.